back to our holy special. Our CNBC TV 18 market wallas are here to give you holy gifts. We've already given you five. Uh, let me start with the person who's dressed in holy colors, Ambarish. Uh, well, you're playing safe with Zycom. Absolutely. Uh, again, I mean, all of us know there's a threat to life and property, and we've been seeing this uh, for the last so many years. Not just so, in Brussels. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Zycom started off uh, with the equipments and the cameras and all that. But then uh, soon they saw that there was huge amount of competition there, margin pressures. So in the last couple of years, they've got into security as a service. So they, they provide the complete security system and they manage it uh, for enterprise as well as homes. And that's really taken off very well. But then again, this means a lot of investment in equipments. And that is what has played on the balance sheet. Uh, for the last two to three years, and that's uh, actually playing down on the balance sheet. But then the payback period for this is between 18 months to 22 months, and oh. we should uh, soon start seeing that payback happening. The stock has corrected extremely well in the last, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 three, four months. In fact, it has fallen from those levels of 140, 150 to closer to about 70. So I think at these levels, about 74, 75, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I mean, basically looking at the standalone uh, EPS, which uh, should be about eight, eight, uh, eight and a half this year. If you're looking at consolidated, it's much higher. It's about 24. But then there are concerns as far as the consolidated, uh, uh, I mean, earnings are concerned because they don't pay tax on that because uh, these units are based in the, in the, in the UAE. At the same time, the margins there are much lower. Okay. So there is again a talk of uh, them selling out those units, which hopefully should happen in the next couple of months. So that should be a booster. So I don't think there's much of a downside from here, whereas upside I'm looking at levels of about 150, 160. Okay, that's doubling. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Tulsian, uh, uh, a stock you've spoken to us before, Century Textiles. A lot of cement stocks have done well. In fact, my theme is, you know, picking a cement stock. And in fact, wherever, you know, you find the value on an EV basis, lowest, probably the, the, naturally the picking and, you know, the theme and the buying goes in favor of that company. But apart from that, if you see the two triggers or the two developments which has happened in last couple of months, one is passage of the MMRDA bill, which will allow the cement captive companies, you know, to transfer the cement plants if they wish to, along with the mines, which they have all been holding for ages. Yeah. And second is appointment of Mr. Kumar Banglam Birla as a vice chairman of the company. It was all known in the circle that Kumar Mangalam Birla ultimately will inherit this company from BK Birla Group, his grandfather, to AV Birla Group. And in fact, maybe because he was appointed chairman a couple of months back, he has, you know, started taking the concrete steps of what you call insulating the whole company from the ownership point of view also. Because if you see, the promoter of this company has largely been Pilani Investments and Kesoram. And actually, maybe in this process, the, the recent developments in this last maybe two or three months, the conversion, though the warrants were issued quite back, maybe about 18 months back, but he has increased the stake by 10% by warrant conversion directly to the AB Birla Group company, then he has acquired the remaining 3% stake from Kesoram Industries recently, couple of days back, and if you take the situation now, I think that the restructuring and asset monetization process will start now, and if you really quickly go to the business models of the company, they have textile unit at uh, Baruch about on, a, on about 100 acres land, having net present value of 1500 crore, that will continue to remain as their core business. They have Century Rayon, from which the whole empire has been created by this Berla group. There, the land holding is closer to about 800 to 900 acres. That is estimated at about 2500 crore. Then you come on the cement plant. The company has 13 million ton cement capacity. Again, having even if you calculate the value at $110 per, per, per ton, the EV works out to about closer to about 9,500 crore. And they have a 2 lakh ton per annum paper and transparent paper plant at Nainital, you know, which company intends to monetize and there has again been talk with a large you know, paper board company makers, they will be acquiring this plant closure to about 2500 crore. So as I said, that 6500 crore is the debt. That's a total debt, including working capital that can easily get paid off by 2500 crore uh, paper plant if they sell it off because that's not their core area. Now you are remaining with 4000 crore. As I said, that cement ultimately is the is the ball game of AV Birla Group to consolidate in one company. The entire 13 million ton can go in Ultratech cement. That's what the talk is going on. And you have to preempt some events. 
you know, which are seen to be happening yeah. maybe next, then only you can make money in, the, in, in, in such yes, type sir. of stocks. So if they assume 4,000 crore as debt and issue 4,500 crore equity shares and making a rough calculation, maybe shareholders, those who are holding seven shares of Century, will get one share of Ultratech. Okay. And that gives you an effective valuation of five, 500 rupees per share. Share is now ruling at 500. Virtually the company will be, become debt free and will be holding real estate of maybe about 9,900 crore, textile division of about 1500 crore. And so, they have the real ready property of 3 lakh square feet ready in the Prabhadevi area which is going to get leased out. So yes. all these developments are going to pan out in the next 6 months obviously with the stake increase from at a regular intervals because again the window is open of 5% creeping acquisition yeah. to start from FY17. So all these things are making this stock quite healthy and if you really see probably because of this development the stock has also started moving up in this last maybe couple of weeks. Now it is ruling at 530. I have 520. I have given a target of 630 again maybe in this calendar year maybe by Diwali but if somebody can hold it for a longer okay. time of about a couple of years I won't be surprised to see the share okay. moving to 900 okay. also but again now, calendar year theme with target of 630. Okay I'm sorry I'm being hurried uh, but uh, uh, Sunil Hightech is an EPC company? That's right uh, and, and you know spring is the time for change and this is one company that's turned around quite a bit. They, in the last few years uh, they were focused on the power and that wasn't a sector that was really uh, delivering. So they changed tack, they moved into EPC with other players, with, with other segments like roads, particularly railways and now they've made a very strong niche for themselves in these new areas as well. Okay. In fact, these new platforms that you see in a lot of centers, locations, uh, the entire civil work, uh, you know, all the escalators and everything is done by them. And the railways is very uh, charged up to spend on this particular part of the civic amenities. So Sunil uh, uh, High Tech is favored on, in that space as well as now going back to the power where they've started seeing the order book flow back. Oh. So it's like, you know, best of both worlds for them. Uh, the company's book value is about 207, which it is ruling at. So you're really not paying a price for a company which is already established and, and at a B multiple of about 7 on a trailing basis. So I think, uh, you know, these are companies that kind of will get re-rated in this uh, entire chain that uh, we are seeing being triggered. So my sense is infrastructure space, instead of the big names, you could probably look at this as a good holy pick and, and uh, you know, ride the curve along with it. You are betting on infrastructure, I must say. Okay, uh, chemicals, they have been right. doing well and you picked Phenotex chemicals, Ambarish? Uh, in fact, uh, they are the specialty chemicals and especially textiles. Okay. So basically the fast color which you see on your uh, dress or even the texture actually comes from these chemicals which they supply. And uh, because of which, uh, generally the textile manufacturers who start buying uh, chemicals from a particular source continue with that mm -hmm. because it gives that continuity. And again, uh, the, the value of chemicals which go into a unit of textile is very, very small. So this also gives them that pricing benefit. In fact, uh, they can easily increase the prices without much of an issue. Uh, again, if you look at Phenotex, comparable ones are Clariant and Bassif where in fact you're giving them a much much higher P. Now this company is more or less debt free, growing through acquisitions, they, they have done an acquisition in Malaysia which again has been performing extremely well giving them the uh, international markets and uh, looking at the sort of margins which they have about 24-25% on a, um, a regular basis, I think uh, this, this company will, will surely go places. Um, looking at an EPS of about one and a half rupees this year. So again, they diluted a lot? They have not diluted much. Okay. Uh, I mean, the, the, the promoter holding is about 72% okay. still. Uh, and, 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 and looking at the sort of growth which we can see about 25-30% year on year, I think this stock which has already moved up from those 23-24 levels a few days back to 30 today uh, can, can in fact move to levels of about 40-45 in the next couple of months. Okay, so that's the nine picks coming from our uh, market gurus, uh, uh, Mr. Tulsian. Uh, Dalmia Bharat, Lloyd Electric and Century Textiles. Uh, Prakash comes with Sunil Hightech, TVS Electronics and Torrent Power and uh, uh, Ambarish comes with uh, Syntex uh, Industries, Zycom Electronics and the color company, Phenotex Chemicals. Uh, nice way to end this festival of colors. Once again reiterating Ambarish's advice, play safe, play with safe colors and do save water. Have a great holy any which way. Thank you for joining us on this holy special.